Hi everyone, today I want to show you how I created a music video about the movie The Blade Runner uh, with stable diffusion using the automatic 11.11 installation on my Mac and also a bit of Final Cut Pro. Final Cut isn't a must, you can use any video editing software, it's just used for preparing the content and doing the final render. First I downloaded some short clips from the movie and put them into Final Cut. I tried to combine these clips in a meaningful way, so they reflect the lyrics of the song. No need for high quality, a 1K resolution is far enough. Once you're done, you need to export this clip as an image sequence. We then will use this sequence as an input for stable diffusion. If you don't have stable diffusion automatic 1111 on your PC or your Mac, I'll leave a link down below how to install it. Now this is the web UI of stable diffusion and we switch over to image to image. You just can use the standard stable diffusion model, but I decided to use a custom model called deliberate because I think it's better for cinematic renders. You can download the model for free. I will leave a link in the description. The whole model has nearly 4 gigs, so it takes some time to load. Now this is the site where I got the model from. And when you download it, you need to save it into your automatic 11.11 folder under Models, Stable Diffusion. It's a large file, so it will take some time to download. Next you need to enter a positive and negative prompt to describe the mood of the whole movie. The actual content will come from our image sequence, which we created before. Let's set the size of the movie to 960 by 540, which is about 1K. We will later upscale the movie to 4K. Before rendering the movie, you should play around with the different settings a bit. I'll set the sampling steps to 35. The free guidance scale, that's how much the rendering conforms to the prompt, should be set to a rather low value, so maybe 5. The denoising strength determines how closely the render conforms to the input images. So we should use a rather low value here, maybe 0.3, which means the render will be very close to the input image. The seed is also rather important, as it gives you totally different results with different values. So we shouldn't use minus 1, which creates a different seed for each frame, but we rather use a fixed value. You should test the settings with some images from your image sequence and see if it produces good results overall. So upload some images and hit the generate button. You should repeat this procedure several times with different images. Looks okay for me. You should invest enough time into this process because it produces much better render results after all. Once you're done, hit the batch button and enter the path to your input directory. That's where your image sequence is located and the path to the output directory. That's where the rendered frames will be stored. Finally, hit the generate button be prepared to wait for several hours until the whole movie is rendered. Once it's done, you can find a new image sequence in your output folder. It's still in very low resolution, so as a next step we need to upscale it to 4K. I'm using a free AI upscaling tool named Upscale, link down below, which produces rather good result in a reasonable time. Check Batch Update Select your input folder, which is basically the output folder of your stable diffusion renders and select a new output folder for your 4K images. Next select the upscale type. I'm using UltraSharp.
Select the file type in the advanced options. And then hit the upscale button. The upscaling process might also take maybe a few hours depending on the number of frames. Once it's finished, you can find your 4K image sequence in your output folder. We are nearly done now and you could import your new image sequence into your video editing software. But I'm going to create the movie with a command line tool called FFmpeg, link down below, uh, because it gives some more options. And it's very, very fast. First I create a 4K movie out of my image sequence at 30 frames per second and it's called out.mov. Here it is. It could be used as your final video but I want to do two more steps. First, I want to let FFmpeg double the frames to 60 frames per second. And then I want to remove every second frame, which makes the video just half as long. This might sound a bit strange, but in the next step, I will import this video into my video editing software, which is Final Cut Pro. You see it's only half the length it should be. So I set the video speed to 50%. and the video quality to optical flow. Using this trick, the whole animation gets more smooth. It's just a detail and you can skip this step, but I think it produces better results. Now you just need to export the video as the final step and everything should be done. You can watch the whole clip on Vero's music channel, link down below. So check it out and give it a like if you enjoy it. If you have any further questions, just leave me a note down in the comments. I will surely answer them. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Running for my life from the place